Assalamu alaikum. Another episode of Ask SQ. You ask, I respond. That's how this thing goes. And if you would like for your question to be featured on this show, inshallah, DM me on any one of these platforms and we'll get you on. Let's get into the question. I know someone who is in an abusive relationship mentally and emotionally, and they've been married for about four years. Wait, what? When did you find out you were in an abusive relationship? Why is it taking you so long to figure it out? You know, often what happens is we give people chances that you know what, people are gonna change, people are gonna change, but you know, you're not giving them a chance, you're making an excuse for them. Change is shown through action, not through words. You cannot give people the benefit of the doubt all the time. People will walk over you and run over you. So many Muslim women today are being abused and mentally, physically, emotionally in bad relationships because they're making excuses for people. You can't assume someone's gonna change. You have to see their action, their conduct, their character, if they're changing or not. If they're not changing, you're wasting your time. Ismail has protected you, he's given you rights, use those rights. But I understand it's not that easy, but if you're a dude out there and abusing women, may Allah SWT do something with you, bro. Like, that's really messed up. Messenger Wasallam has taught us that if we would like to be the best of mankind, we have to be the best to our women. So if you're not the best to your woman, Wallahi, I don't even know what to say to you right now. Coming from an abusive household myself, I totally understand what women go through. So if you're someone who's abusing women emotionally, mentally, physically, you're doing the wrong thing. You need to chill the hell out. And the sister is asking this question. Don't let it be four years before you figure out what life decisions you need to make. You need to make those decisions ASAP. Now, don't waste your time with this person making excuses for them thinking that they're going to change. Change comes from Allah. If you're truly going to show your character, do it that way. And now they have a 10 month old baby girl. This is only going to complicate things. Usually what happens with the will of Allah, the mercy of Allah, sometimes children help relationships out. If you think that, oh, after the pregnancy is going to get better or after you have a child it's going to get better, you're lying to yourself. Only sometimes does it happen where the child comes in and improves a relationship. The character and the conduct of the person needs to be improved for the relationship to work. Not a baby. A child can't change someone's character. Oh, you're like, you know what? I want to separate myself, but what am I going to do with the baby? I don't want the baby to not grow up with the father without a positive male role model. Well, let me tell you something. They ain't positive positive right now, so I don't really know what they're about to grow up with. Don't let the baby hold you back from doing what's right. If you're in an abusive relationship, whether that's emotional, physical, psychological, whatever it might be, you need to make a decision what's best for you and that child. I was raised without a father and alhamdulillah, I'm doing totally fine. An abusive household for that child is more detrimental than you raising them up like a single parent, mashallah, and doing the right thing. So do what's best for not only yourself, put yourself first, but also put that child first. Don't think you're doing them a favor by staying yourself in an abusive relationship just so that they can have a better life because their life is not going to be better. Real talk. He's very stingy and they have no... Hold on. You're stingy? Some women might have this romantic idea where my husband has to buy me bags and this and that and clothes and shoes and all this sort of stuff. But I don't think that's always the case. But I know there are some women who think that their husbands are stingy because of that. And that's not cool. Wives need to be the coolness of their husband's eyes. Husbands need to be the coolness of their wives' eyes. But remember something. You're not going to be stingy. You can't be. You have to spend for the bounties of Allah. Whatever Allah has given you, you have to spend it on your family. Wallahi, that's a sadaqa jariya for you. These are the people that are going to be making dua for you when you pass away. If you treat them well, they're gonna have good thoughts about you. They're gonna spend it correctly. Spending on your family is a part of our religion. Taking care of your family is a part of worshiping Allah. They're not something separate. They have no sex life. Now, let me tell you something about the sex life. When you are with someone for a certain amount of years, sometimes the spark dies out. But it is our responsibility, women and the men, to keep that spark running. There's not gonna be some holy ghost that jumps in you and you're like, oh, I feel so horny, let me go have sex with my wife. That's not how this works. You have to create the mood, you have to set the mood. And when you have children, it becomes even more difficult because now you have a child, sometimes that child sleeps in the same room with you, and now you gotta figure out a way to have sex while the child is like away or doing something or maybe taking a nap. It's difficult, but you gotta make it happen. You gotta make it work. As a male, you gotta make sure that you are doing all the right things to turn on your wife and as a female you got to do all the right things to turn on your husband you got to make sure that you keep that spark alive because it is something that you got to keep alive it doesn't just stay alive you have to feed your sex life and you have to do all the right things keep that spark alive start going on date nights while you're in bed together that the phones are put away the iPads are put away and you're just holding each other hugging each other kissing each other doing all the right things maybe giving her a massage maybe giving him a massage all right it's getting a little high in here right now do all the right things to turn each other on and do things for the sake of Allah because you are rewarded for having sexual relations with your spouse. Messenger Sallallahu has taught us that you are rewarded when you have sex with your spouse. You can be rewarded for having sex? 
That is incredible. She wants to get out of it, but she doesn't have her parents' support. There's so many women shelters. There's so many loved ones that would support you. If you're a parent out there, you're not supporting your child because they're married and you don't want them to come back to your home divorced, shame on you. Who else is she gonna turn back to? In a house where the person's being abused, they have no one. And if you, the parent, turns your back on them, where else are they gonna go? Their only hope, and if you start doing that to them too, subhanAllah, that's not cool, man. Like, you as a parent need to look out for them. You're still the wali. I know you gave that right to the husband, but if they're not taking care of it, you still gotta look out for your daughter. Contact your brothers, contact your sisters, contact your family, contact your friends, contact trustworthy people, inshallah. Look out for people, but don't ever stay in a relationship and make excuses to yourself saying, because you don't have support of someone, you can't get out of that relationship. You have the support of Allah. Allah has given us rights to stay away and get out of ugly, abusive relationships. And don't ever make excuses to me or yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Wallahi, do what's right for yourself because you come first and do what's right for that child. Keep that spark alive. Try to make that marriage work. Go see a marriage counselor. Do everything that you need to do to make a marriage work because divorce is surgery. It's the final stage. And you don't want to do that until you followed all of the commands of Allah and all of the procedures to make sure that your marriage works. Jazakallah for watching. That was my advice. I want you to drop your advice down here hair below. What would you advise the sister to do? What if it was your sister and she was going through this? What would you tell her to do? And don't haram police. Don't say that, oh, SQ, you're encouraging divorces. Let me tell you something right now, bro. Divorce is a mercy from Allah. If Divorce was not supposed to be something that would help a person after they've checked out every other option, Allah would not have recommended this for us. And if you have no advice for the sister, at least drop a kind word to them, inshallah. Drop a sweet, kind word to them, encouraging them, reminding them that it's gonna be okay. Make dua for this person, but please share your feedback below. I love you all for the sake of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala improve all of our marriages out there. If you're struggling to get married, may Allah find you a spouse who's the coolness of your eyes. And if you are having a bad or negative relationship, may Allah improve your marriage as well. Well, you ask, I respond. That's how this thing goes. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm out.